Hey there guys, welcome back to Saturday Shorts with Index Investing with Cole. My name of course is Cole, and as you know, Saturday Shorts are, well I just have something quick and funny to share that isn't worth one of my main uploads for the week every Tuesday and Thursday. So I just throw it here on Saturday, maybe you're bored at home and need something to watch. Um, this is a great one, I've been looking forward to uploading this. Um, Millennial Money just had the funniest thing I've ever seen on that podcast. I cannot think of a funnier moment. Um, this is at the very, very end because it got so bad that Graham just ended the podcast. He cut them off and stopped it. Um, let me give you some quick backstory. So Andre has this app called uh, Vive, I think, either Vive or Vivi, where he buys uh, NFTs of like Disney and Marvel characters. And... Yeah, uh, he's made a, a lot of money uh, buying and selling them because they went up a lot. And uh, Jeremy down here is going to congratulate Graham. Uh, I'm sorry, Andre. <laughs> Jeremy is going to congratulate Andre and say like, "Oh, you know, your Spider-Man NFT wait what made way more money than any of my stocks did. You know, you're, you know, it's doing pretty well for you." And Andre is going to reveal to him that the VV app. Um, does not have the licenses required for you to withdraw money from the app. So you can only, so what you have to do instead is you have to buy gems, which which are a worthless in-app currency, like with real money. So like you put 10,000 real dollars into the app and they give you 10,000 gems, which are worthless. And then you buy your NFT and then, you know, if you sell your NFT for 100,000 gems, you know, you've made 10x but there's no way to turn the gems back into money. It's stuck in the app, and the app has to get like multiple, multiple financial regulation licenses and stuff. And so for now, all of Andre's money is stuck in there, and it might be stuck there forever. You know, he has all this worthless in-app currency with no way to turn it into money. Jeremy does not know this, but Andre is about to tell him. So. Just keep an eye on Jeremy's face for this whole video. Don't look anywhere except Jeremy's face as he finds out that Andre's NFTs cannot be turned back into money. I think there's better opportunities in things that I understand more in. And I know you know a lot about Corsair, whereas I, yeah. I don't necessarily. Um, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, well, shoot, with the Spider-Man NFT, how much money you made off that, I don't think any yeah. stock can hold a candle to that, baby. So <laughs> true. Even though I technically didn't make it because I'm still like in the app, it's called gems. There's there's no way to move your money from gems to dollars. You'll be able to mm -hmm. eventually, but in the meantime, that that is a huge risk you're taking. Like a big assumption that you know, gem. Look at the sudden confusion on his face. Look how quickly he's so confused. Whoa, I didn't know. That. Wait a minute. Can you explain that concept? I had no clue. I assumed you could sell that today and then you just got the money. It doesn't work like that? <laughs> no, no, not quite. So when you move money into the app, you can't. Con so, so you move dollars into gems. That's, that's how you buy the collectibles. You, you don't buy them with actual dollars. But you can't uh -huh. use OMI, the cryptocurrency that underpins the app, because Apple is not going to let you use crypto to buy anything inside of the app. It's just like Apple doesn't want you to use crypto, obviously. So uh, the way the workaround that they figured out is to convert dollars. <laughs> Jeremy is so concerned. He's like, Graham, I'm sorry. God, I keep getting these names confused. He's like, Andre, what have you, what have you gotten yourself into? The gems, which is basically their stable coin. One gem is one dollar. The problem, though, is that you cannot convert your gems back to dollars. It's kind of stuck in this. Oh, my God. Functional <laughs> in-app currency. Now, as long as you trust the team, the project, the licenses, the companies that are partnered with this, and you assume that that's coming with the MTL, the money transmitter license, which they have, once they have that in, you have to understand if you're buying collectibles that are $50,000 a piece and you allow people to withdraw them from your app, guess what you need to do? KYC and AML, right? Know your customer, any money laundering laws. They need those things in place. So before you get to move and sell your NFTs out to the dollar, the IRS wants a piece of that. And there's no way that companies like Disney and Marvel are going to allow Vivi to just like willy nilly move 
NFTs work. Oh, by the way, Andre keeps freezing because he downgraded his Wi-Fi plan so he could buy more NFTs. $100,000 without the IRS knowing about it. So it makes sense that for now, you know, you can't do that, but you'll eventually be able to because the team just has every incentive under the sun to allow that. Wow. That's a well, huge that's risk a lot factor. Of trust. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of trust. Okay, here comes the absolute best uh, comparison ever. Andre is going to compare buying NFTs on an app that you can't withdraw your money from to... Not, not unlike believing that TTCF will someday keep growing and people will still eat frozen food. Not. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, people eating food and being able to withdraw your money from some random NFT app. It's the same risk. I mean, but people have been eating food for what, like two years? It's a, it's a fucking fad. Unlike that. <laughs> No, no, no. This is a whole different type of risk, Andre. You're you're hoping that somebody made you can get your money back. I, let's, okay, this is this is the crescendo, and Graham is about to cut them off. This part fucking slays me every time. Jeremy has just the best line to end this on. I think all forms of investing, regardless if you're buying stocks or NFTs, require some form of trust and speculation, and it just depends on what that risk is for you. Yeah, that's the biggest risk I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, all all investing requires a level of risk. Uh yeah, that that's the biggest risk I've ever heard. <laughs> you can't can't withdraw your money. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this quick insight into into millennial money. Oh God, <laughs> you guys, this this is the best. This is the best like a uh, soap opera on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a great weekend. Uh, some some wonderful wonderful high concept videos coming out uh, Tuesday and Thursday. We're gonna be talking about Ark Invest and randomness and some other thing on Thursday. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy them. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.